Hey, this is James Kelly, your MC today from the place to be, and that's Juniper Networks, because of the imminent release of the new product, Junos V App Engine. You've likely already heard about it in all the news, and if not, do yourself a favor right now, go to the Junos V App Engine page on juniper.net or Google for it, and at least watch the two-minute overview video showing you how we've used the same kind of virtualization technology that powers the cloud and applied it to network application services. So your network apps can now run in VMs on Juno's vApp Engine and reap you the benefits of the cloud's scale elasticity and operational deployment simplicity. Of course, Juno's vApp Engine extends the Juno's operating system as the Juniper application platform that made us famous for open software because of your ability to openly deploy apps that are created with a freely available API in the Junos SDK. So what's in store in this demo? I've got an app that you might know. It's the open source network intrusion detection system called Snort. <laughs> okay, now normally if you wanted to deploy Snort as a network service, what would that look like? Well, something like this. It's another box to manage and all of the routes or the port mirroring as well through that traffic waypoint. The problem with this is if you start to deploy all your other network apps and your services like this too, well guess what? It becomes an operational nightmare. Cut to the network with Juno's V App Engine. Your network app services deployed in the chassis or outside them, like on this Juniper VSC series x86 based device, are managed through the Junos OS. In this case, let's assume right from this MX, or even from Junos Space orchestrating a larger picture of the network. In short, you simplify your deployment with integrated VM and routing management, and you can change it and scale it with any kind of agility that you need. Now, I've got a couple pictures here to help you understand what you're about to see in the screencast demo. First here you see the basic setup blown up to show how traffic flows in a bit more software detail. Like the blue boxes here show you the app components you can build with the Junos SDK embedded in Junos OS or in remote virtual environments hosted on Junos V App Engine. Next here you can see specifically what we used to quickly integrate some of Snort into the Junos platform. We built a few user interface extensions so we can provision Snort's port scan attack detection abilities through the user interface. Now, Snort will use the Junos SDK's remote APIs to be notified about the configuration changes we can make to this new part of the config and read in those changes to enable detection of port scan attacks. More fascinating, though, is that we enhanced Snort's code so that when it does detect such an attack, which I'm going to simulate in the demo here in just a second, Snort will use the remote APIs to install a Junos ephemeral firewall filter to block all the attacker's traffic. So it doesn't just flag that kind of traffic or log it in some sort of Snort log, but now the router will actually drop the attacker's traffic right on the internet facing interface. So the attack is completely toast and the attack traffic isn't gonna impact the LAN or the access network or using up any of Snort's processing time neither. By the way, the deal with all these APIs I'm mentioning is that they work ephemerally and very quickly bypassing the Junos configuration steps and acting to directly control Junos features. All right, so to kick off the demo, I've uh, launched a command here already called show version in my left hand uh, shell window here of the three different ones. I've got a router, an attacker, and a host. And the show version output uh, from my router named Woodstock, which is MX480, outputs the list of all of the different software packages that are installed in the Junos bundle, except for the last three here 
These ones are non-standard, they're not included in the Junos bundle, one being the Junos V App Engine base operating system itself, which will get downloaded to the VSE compute node and run there. It'll do all of the VMM integrated with Junos, download the VM images packages, and start those up as virtual machines. That's all completely integrated into Junos. And then I've actually got my application as well, which is my port scan detection add-on to Snort, if you will. Uh, I have a shortened port scan detector to just PSD here. And I've got two packages, one actually being the user interface extensions, which live on the routing engine of this Junos node, and the other which is the VM image, which will get downloaded into the Junos V app engine on my VSC series and start up there as a VM. All right, so I've got a few interesting commands here I can poke through to show you uh, some of the different functionality in action, I suppose. Uh, one is the show app engine status command, which simply shows you pretty simple output. Uh, the fact that I've provisioned a compute cluster with one compute node in it, which is my VSE in this case, and the name of it, the fact that it's online already. And that's good. That doesn't really necessarily show you too much. Uh, you can actually see in the context sensitive help a whole slew of different commands. Another one that's uh, perhaps more interesting and spits out a little bit more information about the actual virtual machines is the fact that on my compute node I've actually got three different virtual machines. One being attack, one being host, those are actually this red and green one respectively. Normally I'd run them as regular Linux servers, but why bother when I can run them as VMs of course here. Um, so I've mocked up those two Linux devices, one being in the internet uh, side of this router, the other being uh, on the LAN side of the router, and then of course Snort being the VM in the middle that runs the actual application. And if I pull up, uh, for example, this uh, base UI for Snort, which happens to be running in there. I've got one of the IP addresses for the management instance of Snort up in my uh, URL there for that. And you can see that so far of the different kinds of alerts that it's detected, it hasn't really found anything because I haven't put too much traffic through things. Certainly no attack traffic. And the port scan traffic, which we'll see later, uh, go up and generate an alert is currently zero. Uh, if I jump over to my attacker here, you can see that if I do try some ping reachability tests, for example, from supposedly the internet, that's the attacker, to the host, it's working, and vice versa from the host to the attacker or from the LAN to the internet, in other words, that's also working. So everything's working pretty well as it should right now. And I've got some configuration, of course, to provision the app engine stanza. If I was to jump into the configuration mode of Junos here, I could show you some of that. I don't want to spend a lot of time because I want to keep the demo fairly quick. But just to point out where that actually is, it lives under the show services app engine. So under the services app engine stanza is where you'll find all of that. You can see I've got a compute cluster named Woodstock CC1 provision there. I've got a compute node. Uh, in this case I've actually used soft bridges instead of uh, the VTD of actual mapping uh, an IO physical interface into a virtual one. I've got these soft bridges which allow me a lot more flexibility with less performance. Um, if I go down a little bit further you can actually see the configuration for the VMs under virtual machines uh, and in this case I've got one VM called Snort and you need to tell it what image to run. I'm running the PSD VE image that corresponds to that package that I actually had up above and I've even specified on which compute node to run it. So you can imagine this is all standard virtual machine management functionality as you'd expect to find in say something like a vCenter from VMware or OpenStack or whatnot, but it's all integrated into Juno so that you can easily provision the compute nodes for your network functions that you've now got the ability to run elastically on Juno's V App Engine on a cluster of VSEs. You can integrate all of your VMM directly through Junos if you choose to, in addition, of course, to the actual application and all of the integration of that, which brings me to another part that's interesting of the configuration, which is actually the int integration of the configuration application uh, specific provisioning. Uh, that's kind of a mouthful there. Let me just show you. So if I go to show 
port scan detector, that's actually the little tiny bit of user interface that I've created for Snort. All it does is it turns on the ability for Snort to detect port scan attacks, and specifically it detects them uh, on a specific IP address, so it only monitors one IP address. Imagine there's a whole prefix uh, there, perhaps. In this case, I know that my host that I'm going to be attacking is actually that IP address. It's only going to watch that one. And I need to specify an internet facing interface on which the firewall filter that will eventually block the attack traffic and therefore the attacker's IP as well and his future traffic, well, he's going to basically be blocked right at the internet attach point or the internet facing interface which is a gigabit ethernet interface in my case. So that's the simple configuration for this and I've got it actually marked as inactive so it's turned off right now and I'm gonna go ahead and activate that configuration so that we can see the demo in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate it and of course it doesn't take effect until I do a commit so I got that going there and now if instead of say from my attacker running a ping which is fairly harmless or it's not going to detect that I do something like run an attack uh, and one of the free tools that you can do that with is a network mapper or nmap so I'm going to use that against the same victim's IP address it's going to start nmap and what it does is a port scan so it tries to uh, open connections to a few thousand ports which is one of the first steps that a network attack would probably do against a victim so snort's going to detect this which it has in the background um, and you can see that the attack takes some time to complete during this attack somewhere in the middle of it you can see it took 16 seconds well what happens is Snort actually detects the attack and in so doing it uses that extension that we've programmed to go and insert a firewall filter to actually block the traffic. So the attack may take longer than normal. Now if I run this attack again, you notice that it comes back much more quickly and what does it say? It says the host seems to be down. Um, or maybe it's just blocking our probes, which is in fact what's happening. That firewall filter matches the attacker's IP address which is 1414-1463 and it's going to essentially discard that traffic and that filter is going to be attached to the internet facing interface that we specified there so of course the attacker no longer has reachability at that point if I try a ping it to verify that sort of thing you'll see that it's proven that the ping doesn't respond and if I bring up my user interface for Snort, you can see that if I refresh this, the port scan attack traffic has now gone to 100%, which is basically the only kind of traffic I've put through Snort at this point, other than some harmless stuff. So that's basically a quick demo of an application running inside of a Linux VM on top of Juno's vApp engine. And all this was done with a bit of open source software running in Linux. I snapshotted it. I obviously extended Snort a little bit to go and uh, use the Junos SDK remote APIs to install a firewall filter back in the Junos node. But all of this could be achieved very, very quickly. If you're familiar with the Snort code, obviously you know exactly where to drop that code in. Um, so it could really be done in all of a day's work to get to the point from downloading Snort off of GitHub or whatever open source um, repository it's available in into Linux from that source code modifying it with the Junos SDK remote APIs building it snapshotting that OS and essentially packaging it as a Junos installable and then deploying it on something like this like Junos V App Engine so I did all of this amount of work in one day's work which is pretty impressive for getting something like a network intrusion detection system partially integrated with my network node. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in to this quick demo of Junos v App Engine.